Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. I am Cher, and today we are going to be walking through the 21 Days of Beauty Sale at Ulta. This is a sale that happens twice a year, usually in the spring and fall, and so we are coming up on the spring sale here. It starts March 12th and ends April 1st. So I want to just walk you through all of my favorites that are on this list that are going to be on sale, give you a little preview of what's to come, and just share with you some of my picks, some of my favorites, what I recommend, and also what I might pick up. We're going to see. So let's scope it out together, and if that interests you, come on along, pop that subscribe button, and let's get started. Okay, so if you're not familiar with the sale and how it works, I'll just give you a brief summary really quick of what happens with this 21 Days of Ulta sale. So each day for the 21 days, you will have a certain number of brands, of makeup brands, skincare brands, what have you, that are featured um, that are on sale, and they're always half off. So you're going to have, it's always going to be 50% off. Now, usually I tend to see, you'll have like, I don't know, four or five brands each day. And within those brands, sometimes you'll have two or three different items. And it just depends. You might also have like complexion products where there's all different shades and they're all on sale. Um, so where it gets tricky is you might have something you really like on one day and then another thing you really like on another day and you don't really want to pay the shipping for it both times. I'm kind of cheap myself, and so that's where I always struggle. So there's also another program um, in general. You can become a Diamond member or a Platinum member, and it's a rewards program. When you spend a certain amount each year, um, you can get these, these tier levels of what you are, and with those, you get free shipping. <laughs> And so, you know, if you are a big Ulta shopper, you might want to consider one of those uh, levels and then you don't have to worry about the shipping, you know. So in general, you get free shipping at Ulta if you spend more than, I think, 35 at a time. But if you just see like one little item you want to grab on the sale, you're going to pay that shipping each time. So um, just a little note about that. That's where it always gets me. I'm, I'm so super cheap. I'm going to grab the biggest deal there is. But then I'm like, oh no, I got to pay that shipping. All right. So anyway, let's get started. Um, we're just going to walk through each day. And um, I film on my phone. <laughs> you guys, I do use my phone for filming at this point. And so um, I'm not here to show you my phone and scroll through everything. So I'm just going to like kind of do a screenshot of the items as I go along. So day one, let's look at day one and see what these fun sales are going to be. So right off the bat, we have got some Tarte. And if you've been around my channel for a while, you will know that I love me some Tarte. It's one of my favorite brands. So we have the Man Eater Mascara that's going to be on sale. Woohoo! This is a very popular one. Definitely recommend it if you're interested in Tarte. Nab you some of that mascara. And then also the Shape Tape Foundation, which is also wildly popular too. Now, I've tried just about almost everything from Tarte, um, especially Shape Tape. But I have still not done the foundation. So this is one I may want to grab. And I'm especially interested to try out some different foundations right now because I'm a professional makeup artist. And I have like my main base, but I usually use Arbonne as my traditional foundation. And it's an MLM. Um, and I've just been wanting to have some other like backups and mix and match, you know, foundations. That's a big thing that we do. So I'm really on the hunt for some good foundations. Um, so this is one that I might actually pick up. Um, we also have a couple of Peach and Lily products here. I've actually never done this brand before, so I can't really speak on it on whether I recommend it or not. I love the packaging. It's really pretty. Um, and then we've got just online items. So you can only buy, buy it online. Now, that's no problem for me because I buy almost everything online. I, am, I never have time to go in store and shop hardly ever. So the MAC eyeshadow paint pots. Um, Wowzers, I may have to pick that up because I've been really wanting to do some single shadows and really, especially the MAC paint pots. Um, if they have some shimmers, those I'm especially interested in. Yeah, the MAC paint pots are just something that's really big in bridal makeup. And so that's something that especially interests me. So day one is a really good day, if you ask me. Another thing I'm seeing on here that's online only is It Cosmetics. It looks like just a couple of brushes and tools there. Those are all things I could use for my business as well. Might be of use. I love It Cosmetics brushes. Absolutely love them. They're one of my favorites behind like Sigma. Um, so definitely would recommend that brand for the brushes and tools. So let's move on to day two and we're just going to go down the line and check it all out. 
Oh my gosh, guys, I think March 13th is going to be another huge day to highlight. Really good one. You've got Elemis. This is amazing skincare. You've got their marine cream here. I love Elemis. So definitely snatchy that stuff up if uh, you want to try some. We've also got Urban Decay lipstick. And I don't think I've done any of their lipstick. Um, so I would be curious to try it out. And then Rim Beauty. So I've really been wanting to try Rim Beauty. I haven't done it yet, but definitely is on my list to pick up. And so we've got these little eyeshadow, are they quads? They look super cute, but I have been dying to try Rim Beauty. And of course, this is, you know, Ariana Grande's line. Um, so still pretty new out there. Really hot stuff to pick up. Definitely a great, great sale day. You got Lancome uh, Primer. I thought it was the eye makeup remover and I got really excited. Um, I don't think I've done their primer, so but I really want to. So yes, so Lancome and then you have some Kinship uh, like eye cream, vitamin C. So you guys, this is a really good sale day in my opinion. So they're going to start me off all excited here. They're going to make me spend all my money up front. And then I'm probably going to see more that I really want. I'm going to spend money like every day. They're going to keep getting that shipping out of me. I might as well join the Platinum. <sighs> what am I thinking? So just so you know, the Platinum, I think you have to spend more than $500. And the Diamond, you spend more than $1,200. But that's in a year. So I consider what I spend on makeup in a year. <laughs> I might as well do it. <laughs> the third day, I'm getting... Uh, these are all good picks, I think, but they're probably not any that I'm personally going to pick up. Um, you got some Derma Blend setting powder. I mean, I wouldn't mind trying that. Nude sticks, some uh, bronze um, sculpting sticks and everything. Um, I really like nude sticks, but I love them, especially for like the lips. Um, but yeah, I mean, I, I would like them, but maybe it's because I have some nude sticks. So I'm just kind of to diversify a little bit myself. You've got some Elizabeth Arden, um, Conscious Beauty. So yeah, this is a day I'd probably, I probably won't be hopping on there for. Um, the next day we've got Stila. I never know if I say it right. I say it's Stila. I think it is Stila, not Stila. Y'all let me know if I'm saying it wrong. I mean, I always use Stila, but I think I call it Stila. So I, I might be, have been saying this wrong all the time. But anyway, we've got some Stila. You've got these eyeliners and I love Stila, so I don't know. I may have to pick. I don't know. We'll see. That's one I would definitely recommend. Some Murad. I just recently got Murad in a um, BoxyCharm box, I think it was, and I got their retinal eye cream, and I've been really liking it. So I really like the brand so far. Um, so if you like that one, grab it. Lorac eyeshadow palettes. Um, you know, I don't know. Like, I'm not as excited about them just because I have so many eyeshadow palettes and there's certain ones that will really excite me. But, um, you know, like, I wouldn't be mad about if I was, like, gifted Lorac. I don't know what it is about. Like, I get excited when I see, like, half off of a full eyeshadow palette. Now, you've got this beauty fridge, which I've never thought to get a beauty, beauty a fridge before. And I was trying to figure out what do you keep in a beauty fridge, but it is actually for storing like your serums and face masks and things at an optimal temperature, which might be ideal, especially, you know, I live in Florida and, you know, we get some crazy hot temperatures here. It's humid all the time. And I also travel a lot. So it actually might be a good idea for somebody like me um, because some of your good beauty products do require, you know, moderate temperatures and they can go bad from um, being in extreme temperatures like what I'm in. So it might actually be a good idea. And this is a steal because normally it's like 60 bucks and so you can get it for 30. And I think I've seen some like fridges like this, like online, like on Amazon and, you know, they're all fairly expensive. So if it's something you wanted to invest in and think about, this might be a good day to go grab you one. And then finally, we have this Ibrorian, which I know nothing about either. So I would not be terribly excited about that day. Okay, now March 16th is a day I'm a little bit excited about again. There's two items on here in particular I have my eye on. And I'm, I don't know, I'm like, ooh. One is the Too Faced Lip Injectors. Um, it's it's plumping gloss, basically. and But, you know, I hear so many things about this that is really supposed to help plump those lips really good. And so I have been wanting to grab, get my hands on them. I do hear that they really sting though. Like they have major burning sensation. Um, 
which I always hate that feeling on the lips. And I, I hate putting that on my clients because I know they're, you know, some people have sensitive lips and skin, but I've definitely been wanting to check those out. So they'll be on that day. And then also we have Iconic London Sculpting Palette. I just got the cheek and face palette that's similar to that in my bo uh, BoxyCharm Luxe box. And I'm gonna link that for you because that was like the best Luxe box ever. And it was the last one because they're merging with Ipsy. So check that video out if you have not already. Um, but anyway, I am, I, I really love that cheek palette. And so now I'm excited. I see this contour palette is on sale. So I'm like, I might wanna grab that because it looks like it's probably gonna be maybe cream. It looks cream based. So that's the day I'm gonna have my eye on. Well, darn it, they did it to me again, March 17th. Some good stuff on there. <sighs> Why can't all the good stuff be on one day? <laughs> okay, we have some Ofra highlight, which is my number one favorite highlight on the planet. I've gotten to where I'm so spoiled with that highlight that I almost like don't even like that much of other highlights because theirs are just so bomb. I'm such a like bright highlight kind of gal. I am also an Ofra affiliate now. Um, so you can either get your deal on sale here or through my links, but it's probably better for you to go through the sale right now. Um, but anyway, we've also got some Clarins, some Dermalogica, and another one that I am really scoping out and excited about too is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Gel. So that is a good day. Oh, and don't forget, I think it's Lancome. Is this perfume? I'm not really a huge like perfume person. I like, I'm more of like a fruity body wash kind of gal, but if you are a perfume connoisseur, I love me some Lancome, everything, you know? Um, so anyway, another good day. And then we're following up with yet another one on March 18th. Oh, they're killing me, guys. Fenty Beauty Concealer, okay? Love me some Fenty Beauty. Another one I've been wanting to try, like, in addition to the foundations, I really want to test concealers too, because these are all products that I just go through really fast. All the base products are so important as a professional makeup artist. So I'm just wanting to test out like all different kinds to see which one I really want to stock up on the most. So I definitely want to try this from Fenty Beauty. We have also got some Benefit Blush, Monique, which is great skincare. And then guys, online only, which is what I'm going to be buying from anyway, we have the New Face Microcurrent. So if you don't know about this microcurrent, this is the number one, like probably the best selling microcurrent device there is. I have a microcurrent device too. I could not believe the results from it. It gives you like an instant facelift, basically. Um, I was really consistent about using mine and I haven't recently, and this is reminding me to go back to it, but the new face is kind of the one that is the most raved about. Um, I'm really tempted to pick this one up, but if you're looking into microcurrent, so if you want to know what it is, <laughs> it's kind of like an electric shock, to be honest with you. I know you're like, what you're using? And, and when I got my microcurrent device at home, my husband was like, what the... I'm not going to cuss because um, I'm trying to be family friendly on my channel now that I'm monetized. But um, my husband was just like, the things you will do in the name of beauty, you are shocking yourself into a facelift? What? <laughs> but it is, you. it's basically this device that you go over your face with and it's giving you like little shocks to kind of, um, like it basically stimulates collagen, you know, in your face. And so, I'm telling you, the stuff is amazing. It does take a little getting used to, but there's different settings, so you don't have to put it on, like, the strong shock. <laughs> but you're basically electrocuting yourself over and over again. <laughs> I'm just kidding. You're not real. It's not dangerous. So, anyway, I love mine, and so I'm like, if I love this one so much, I, I really want to try the new face one. So, that is a really good steal right there because it's very pricey and you're going to get it for half off. So definitely recommend that. Um, then we've got some It Cosmetics. I love that cream. So that's a good one too. And then we've got Beauty Blender. I have so many Beauty Blenders now that I'm just, I'm not as excited about that, but really good day guys. That is wow. So I'm seeing like March 16th through 18th so far. I'm going to be hopping in there and at the beginning, the first couple days also. So far, that's that's my list that I've made a note on <laughs> to get on there every day. I, 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 I'm gonna blow all my Scotland money, y'all. <laughs> yeah, the next day we've got some Estee Lauder, some Anastasia Beverly Hills. 
Um, some It Cosmetics brushes, definitely hop on those brushes if you're in the market for brushes. I, I would grab those. I probably won't be picking up anything on this day only because I have a couple of these items and I don't really need a lot more, but it, you know, it's a pretty good day. So for other people, I would maybe recommend it. Some Kiehl's in there too. So pretty decent day, just probably not gonna be one I'm shopping on. The next day is a pretty heavy skincare day. However, you got some Laura Mercier um, loose translucent powder thrown in there and that is what I use predominantly for all my clients. So I might go in there and stock up. I just might with it being 50% off. Um, but I have, I'm kind of holding out for the, um, I've been wanting to try the brightening one. I forget what it's called. It, it's more like the pink tint under the eyes. I really want to go with that when I've been doing just your regular translucent powder. So I'm, I'm going to try to decide on that. Um, the rest of the lineup is skincare, but some Kate Somerville cleanser. I really want to try the Kate Somerville. So that's another one I have my eye on that I'm deliberating on too. Um, but yeah, check out, I don't know, this is a lot of like heavy skincare and you've got like a peach fuzz device removal thing. Um, if you struggle with that, it might be something to look at. Okay, next day, we have some Smashbox primer. Um, one that I might want to look at too. I've heard, I think some other makeup artists use Smashbox primer. Um, so this one I might want to check out just out of curiosity. We have... Um, at the end of the day, oh, we got some Stila again, this time the highlighters, which I love Stila, so I'm definitely curious about the highlighter, but again, like I said, I'm so spoiled with Ofra, and I have a lot of Ofra highlight that I'm just almost like, nothing compares, nothing compares, but I haven't tried Stila highlight, so, hmm, the rest of the stuff you've got online, what to check out is some sunscreen. Um, so you've got Kapari Beauty, which I have tried Kapari and I love them. Oh my gosh. They have like a coconut scent in everything. And I'm such a coconut person that like, oh, I just love that brand so much. So if you're looking for a sunscreen to try, I bet it's got a coconut smell. Um, and then you've also got nude sticks. I think that's sunscreen also. And so these are like first time being on sale. So, you know, it is spring and summer season, time for that sunscreen. Might be a good time to grab some from Good Brands. And the next day, I'm not really as into this one personally. You've got some Urban Decay shadow sticks, it looks like. Online, you've got some First Aid Beauty, which is actually good. Um, not a lot that I see here, though, that I'm that interested in personally. Not to offend anybody who might be interested in that day. We'll see. <laughs> and then the next day, not a lot either what I see just like kind of stands out to me. You got Jaclyn Hill bronzers. <sighs> okay. So I just, I have very mixed feelings on this Jaclyn Hill brand. I absolutely love her stuff. Like I just love her formula and I use a lot of her products. Uh, but some of the shady stuff lately, I'm just mm, not so sure. And now I don't even know what's going to happen with her brand. Is she going to be around anymore with this whole Morphe decline and there's like what is it formica is really who owns her brand i think and so there's a whole lawsuit with that and i'm like is her brand even gonna be around like i don't want to get more addicted to her stuff and i don't know i don't know what's happening with that so i don't know what are y'all's thoughts on it let me know in the comments below and then another one you know origins is a good one i think to try i still haven't tried them but um i hear good things about them but yeah there's just not a lot that's very exciting on this day to me march 23rd is a decent day to me. There's a couple of things that stand out to me. First of all, Lancome cream. Um, but this Mayless, I never know if I say it right, Mayless. So I've tried them. They have gifted me some products before and I'm still using them. I love their stuff. Okay. So I'm going to show y'all what I have because it's right here beside me. Um, I have this Be Poised Neck Cream. Really good stuff. Um, but I, <laughs> what I love about them, everything starts with like B. It's like B Poised. We have chest um, cream. I don't want to say the word just because I don't know if I'm going to get, if it will technically become less family friendly then. And I want to be able to monetize this video. <laughs> so, um, so I'm going to, I'm going to call it chest cream. It's called Be Perky. And then <laughs> this goes on your backside, Be Thick. The names say it all, guys. The names say it all. But I really like this stuff. They are awesome. They are firming. And, like, I love that brand. So, definitely check them out. So, they are 
are gonna be on that day too. I really, really do like them. And then it also looks like you've got some Dr. Brandt, which is good, and some Lime Crime, which is at a good price there at $7 um, on some matte lipstick. So maybe a good steal there. Oh, the next day we have some Too Faced better than, okay, I'm not gonna say it again, just in case, better than a certain act that's fun. Trying to be family friendly on here. Anyway, uh, Too Faced Mascara is gonna be half off and I love that mascara. It is good stuff, good stuff. I, that's one of my favorite mascaras. Um, also some Peter Thomas Roth that is a surprise steal. They're not gonna tell us yet what that one is, but March 25th is definitely gonna be the day to watch. Okay, we've got some Buxom, a surprise steal, but anything by Buxom, I'm down. And then it is the It Cosmetics Day. So the CC Cream, which is a huge winner. I love It Cosmetics CC Cream. Honestly, that CC Cream is more like a foundation to me. It has such good coverage. Highly recommend it. And then the brushes. Ha! Ah, and then we have some Benefit Brow, which I use all the time too. That's my favorite brow product. So um, that is my day too. Okay, so March 25th, I'm flagging. Wait, hold on. Now we're at March 26th. I'm telling you guys, once they start roping you in, then they start bringing it. After that, another day, March 26th. We got some MAC Fix Plus setting spray. That's like the Holy Grail setting spray, okay? Um, we have their Studio Powder, okay? We have the Tarte Maracucha, however you say that, limp, lip balms, which are like my ride or dies now. Absolutely love those. I want to stock up in like every shade of them. And we have Tula Cleanser, which is another cult favorite and my ride or die. I love that cleanser as well. And then we have Persona uh, Blushes, which I have not tried their blushes, but their tinted lip balm that was in my BoxyCharm a month or two ago, thebomb.com guys. So these blushes look so pretty. They're so bright and pink. So I may have to check them out. Okay, March 26th is the day. <laughs> Wow, that one is such an exciting day. So I'm gonna be, I shouldn't even tell y'all about it because y'all are gonna go and you're gonna make it be sold out before I can get to it. <laughs> At least the next few are a little less exciting to me. So a little bit more helpful on my, my pocketbook. <laughs> so we have some Shiseido, which I've still been really wanting to do. Some Kat, Van, Kat Von D, um, tattoo liner which I just got this in my boxy and it, it actually I'm wearing it right now good stuff I really love it I love her liner um but that's really what stands out to me the most on that day and the next day a lot of brands that I recognize but haven't really done L'Occitane um Sunday Riley oh this Grand Cosmetics I really I've tried their winged liner I think it was but it was also a serum at the same time um, they did gift it to me to try, and I loved that stuff. I love it. I definitely will be repurchasing it, so that's one to consider. You know, the next day is a little boring again. Like, we got some Urban Decay. Um, I don't know. Dermablend might be one to try. Not a lot that I'm really digging that much. Maybe I'll see something you like. And the next day, March 30th, we've got Benefit. Um, we got the Pore... Uh, basically like primer I think it was and that's good stuff <clears throat> the only other thing that really stands out to me is that Saint Topaz however you pronounce it but most of their stuff is like um glow like body glow stuff and I uh, think I am actually allergic to most of their stuff I can't do anything that has like tanner in there like it's like tanning products type stuff um or I might be able to on other products on this one might be okay but I I'm not very good at giving you guys um, my thoughts on these since I am very scared of testing some of them out because of my allergies. And then March 31st, you've got a surprise from It's Cosmetics. We don't know what that's going to be. It's a mystery. Um, Morphe brushes, again, I just, I love Morphe. I really do. Like, I love their products, but again, I don't know where all of this stands. I mean, are they done? Are they, are they done or are they not done? Like, <clears throat> are they getting bought? Like... What's going to happen to all these products? Are they, is everything discontinued from here on out? Like, I just don't want to get any more hooked anymore. Last day of the sale, April 1st. That's a good one. We've got some Tarte Shape Tape, which I use all the time. It's a ride or die. Like I said, I love my Tarte. Might be a day that I stock up on all my Shape Tape concealers. And then we have a surprise from Giorgio Armani. Ooh, wonder what that's going to be. 
lovely. We've got some Clinique cleansers. And then what I am particularly interested in is the Kylie Lip Kits and Palettes. So that is what I really, really, really want to nab. Um, whoa, that's a good one. So that might be a really good day. It's the very last day of the sale. So guys, that is everything. That is the 21 days of Ulta Beauty. A little preview for you to see what is going to be featured. And then that way you can plan out your days, map it all out, price it all out, figure out what you want to do. What were some of your favorites? What are you grabbing and picking up? Let me know down below. I'm going to be making my list and deliberating and deciding what the priorities are. So I'm trying very hard to save my money. <laughs> All right, guys, so that wraps it up. Make sure you pop that subscribe button if you want to see more like this in the future. And I will catch you on the next one. Bye.